Sagittarius, I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, October 2nd to Monday, October 9th, 2017. Now, what we've got going on this week, Sagittarius, is we've got Mars and Venus, which are conjunct right here in your 10th house of like your career and of your life direction and just where you see your life going in a lot of ways. And so I think you're really trying to push hard with Mars here, the planet of action, to manifest a career that you want, improve your life direction, direct your life in a way that you feel is better for you, also rules your social standing and your reputation to increase your social standing and your reputation in some way. I think that is a big focus for you. All right, with Venus about to conjunct and overtake Mars, <clears throat> this week, I think a lot of the focus too is really on how you can bring more heart back into your career, into where your life is going, feel more comfortable with the life direction that you're taking too. I really think you're also trying to work some of that stuff out. All right, as you're thinking about your career, maybe not even thinking about it, trying to move forward on it, I think there's also a lot of stuff uh, going on here when it comes to your goals. All right, since we also do have the sun and Mercury conjunct together in your 11th house, um, bring it up too, where it's not just about um, your career and moving up in the world and your social standing, but where it is that you see your life and the long-term vision of your life and what it is that's gonna make you ultimately the most comfortable to give you the best life, where you feel most, authentic, uh, most authentically yourself. I think that is really a lot that is coming up this week. Could also be about associating with the right groups of people too and just starting to feel just better and more comfortable comfortable in your own skin and I think you really want to work on your career and on your reputation on where your life is going so that you can start to relax into your life a little bit more. All right, while that's going on, I think this is also a big focus right here where Pluto is and that's going to be in your second house of money coming in here. Um, all right, maybe there's been a lot of things in the past little while that have been changing with your financial situation, your money, your income, something along those lines uh, going on here. Could also be your confidence here, changing your gifts and talents and skills, uh, learning new gifts and talents and skills, using new things, cultivating new ones, that kind of thing um, that you're trying to work out and you're trying to think about here. And I think what's going on is with your career here and with your life direction, I think you're trying to figure out how to get money from it, how to increase your income from it, how to be comfortable with your career, with your reputation, where things are going um, with that, and how to just use all of your resources that you have to really manifest this life direction that it is that you really want here and maybe trying to decide what changes you need to make in your career in order to bring more stability into your life, get the money and use more of your gifts and talents with that stuff going on here with Pluto in a trine with uh, Mars and Venus in your 10th house, okay? I also think a lot of it too is as you're thinking about money and how you can have the money that you need and the confidence and the gifts and talents to help you move up in the world, whether or not it relates to your long-term goals. Does it fit into where you see your life going? Does it make you comfortable as you're making some of these changes and figuring some of these things out, really trying to work all of that stuff together, okay? Being a big thing going on. Pluto can be a little bit intense at times and can bring up some fears and some really big feelings. So it could be a little difficult in that sense, but I think really meant to help you figure out where it is you see your life going. What are your goals? What is it that you want and how can you accomplish some of these things? Okay. While that's going on, we also have Saturn here in your first house uh, coming in to bring more focus to yourself and who you are. And that's going to be making a trine over here to, um, or it's going to be making a square to Venus over here in your 10th house of career. So while you're thinking a lot about where your life is going, can you afford this thing? Can you get money from it? Can you be comfortable doing it um, so that it can bring you to the life that you want? I think you're also trying to think about, is it something you want? Does it resonate with you? What is best for you in the long run? You know, and where you see your life going. And I think there's some big questions this week that you have to have to work out and have to work on. But I think if you figure out and you focus on yourself and what's important to you and everything about you with Saturn here, uh, in your first, it's really going to open some doors for you to do something new here that you haven't done before um, with Saturn making a trine over to the North Node in your ninth house um, to do something exciting, to bring the passion back uh, into your life uh, in some way and to open some new doors that have been closed before and really just having to figure out what's going on with your career, your goals, your life direction so that you can really begin to do something that is better for you and just more exciting. You're Sagittarius, so the ninth house, you like that, you like new different things. Um, so just trying to work out some of that, okay? 
while that's going on, there's still Jupiter over here in your 11th house of your goals uh, that you're still trying to balance here with what makes you happy in some way. All right, maybe you have some kind of passion project you're working on, a romantic relationship, uh, something along those lines, or just doing something that it is you enjoy. It could also be kids too, if you or some, if you have a child that you're close to. Um, and I think you've been trying to balance where you see your life going with something that it is that you enjoy in your life in some way and to get the balance right, even though some unexpected things have been coming up. And I think the message of this week is to really not focus so much on what makes you happy and on, and on what you enjoy and on your passion projects and things like that. And to start thinking more about where your life is going and how you can translate that into a bigger picture for you and get your life in the right direction that you really want to get it in, okay? And that's because we've got a full moon here coming in on October 5th, uh, I believe this Thursday, uh, really telling you, because full moons to me indicate endings, so really telling you, you don't, don't think so much about what makes you happy. And I know that's kind of a hard thing to tell people, but don't think so much about passion projects and that kind of thing. Think about where your life is going. Also here, the 11th house rules groups of people. Stop going alone. Start going with groups of people to accomplish some of the things that you want as well. I think that becomes a big thing. Now, it doesn't mean to just stop doing what makes you happy altogether. It means to bring that to completion, to finish that, to take that as far as it can go this week with some passion projects, something that you enjoy so that you can begin to focus on this other part of your life, maneuver it in a better direction, get the income that you need, and really try to bring something new and different and exciting into your life, okay? So that's what I've got for you. Your card for the week is the Queen of Wands. This is perfect. I love this because I see the wands is a fire sign. Sagittarius is a fire sign. The Queen, to me, likes to show her heart, likes to let people know what's going on with her, likes to talk to other people, like to likes to hear other people's hearts and what's going on. And I think this is a really good week to express yourself, to be open with what you're feeling, to show your passion, what you're passionate about, okay? And then let other people express their passions too, um, okay, and to just put yourself out there. I think also a lot of this card too is like the entertainer as well. Don't be afraid to just say what's on your mind and say what you're feeling as long as it's coming from a really good place and as long as you mean well um, and to show people what's going on with you and to care about other people, okay? I like that card for you this week. So, all right, thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later. Bye.